Good day everyone and welcome to STEM 6 General Chemistry 2. I am Mr. Michael Z. Segaral, your science instructor. Today, I am going to present you the course design for STEM 6 General Chemistry 2. This course design contains the following components. First is the course description. Second are the learning theories which serve as the foundation in designing the course. Third one are the course artifacts, which are evidences of learning. The fourth one are design principles, which also serve as guide in designing the course. And lastly, the instructional strategies, which will be utilized by the teacher in order to achieve the goal of the course. Let's start with the course description. This course is designed to provide a general background for understanding chemistry. It discusses the composition, structure, and properties of matter, the quantitative principles, kinetics, and energetics of transformation of matter, as well as the fundamental concepts of organic chemistry. For the learning theories, in designing the course, it is very much important for the teacher to consider the learning theories in order to make the course more effective and meaningful. The course is anchored on the following theories, the theory of behaviorism, theory of constructivism, theory of andragogy, and the theory of cognitivism. This course is designed to meet the learning objectives of the e-learning course, and through integrating practices of self-directed learning and critical reflection, the course is designed for transformational learning and experiential learning, which the theories of andragogy and cognitivism postulate. The course also is designed applying the theory of constructivism and behaviorism, since learners are the center of instruction and the learning process allows students to discover ideas to answer complex problems, treating them not as just passive recipient of information. For the third key component of this course design are the course artifacts. Now, on my based on my own understanding, the course artifacts actually refers or refer to the evidences of learning. Now, for this particular course, we will be having different activities to in order to assess that re there really is learning on the part of our learners. So we will be implementing laboratory activities, which can be done at home with minimal to no supervision allowing the learners to self-direct. We will also be having interactive simulation, which the students will be utilizing online platforms. We will be having studies of performance tasks, though laboratory activities and interactive simulation under, are under the umbrella of the performance task. We can also add here problem solving, by which students need to relate their, the, concept learned, the concepts learned to uh, solve real-life problems. And we will be also ha um, having series of written works to assess the learning of our students. And lastly, we will be having group activities as well because we will not only develop their individual uh, learning or their their learners as or their learning as individuals, but we will also be um, improving their collaborative skills. Now, for the course design principles, it is also very much important that when you are designing a course, there are certain principles applied. Now, for, my, for this particular course, I've just um, anchored the design principle on the suggestion of Jun Kamenske et al. as he provides a comprehensive overview of what one needs to take under consideration when designing a course with e-learning and other interactive components. So these are the following principles. First, your course should encourage active learning. It gives prompt feedback, it emphasizes time on task, it respects diverse talents and ways of learning, and lastly, it would develop recipro uh, reciprocity and cooperation among students. And lastly, in order to achieve the goal of the course, I will be utilizing, or the instructor will be utilizing the following instructional technologies. First is the Microsoft Teams, wherein the uh, the, stu the teachers and the students will be having their online synchronous session. They will also, or the teacher will also be utilizing Padlet for online collaboration because in this particular um, platform, students could actually share their thoughts. 
Then they will also be having lobster for um, uh, interactive simulation. Then Mentimeter for online collaboration also. And also we will be utilizing Kahoot for interactive assessment. And lastly, the Blackboard Ultra for a synchronous session. Now, these instructional technologies are very important as I made mention a while ago because these will help me achieve the goal of the course. And that would be all for my course design. Thank you.